Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Today's video will be crazy. Because the topic is Crazy Joe. I have already made beginner guide on Crazy Joe. But lots of things were changed. Lots of new items were added. So this video is updated version. In this video, I will tell about every detail on Crazy Joe which is important for everyone. Let's jump in our video. What is Crazy Joe? It is alliance event of battle, but it is not PvP, a PV. TV means players versus entity. In this event, a group of bots who are bandits attack your city. You and your alliance members have to defend themselves and headquarter from these attacks. There are total 11 level of difficulty. If your alliance is weak go for lower level difficulty. Difficulty 1 means T1 troops and. Difficulty 11 means T10 and higher troops. And this event can be started by. Manually or automatically by R4 or R5. Before continuing, let's give a shout out. To my supporter who requested for an. Updated video on Crazy Joe. Thank you for your suggestion. Let's go back to our video. In this event, Joe will send total 20 waves to attack to your alliance. Each wave will be difficult to defend than the previous one. What is the mechanism of this event? You have to defend against those waves. More waves you defend successfully, more reward you will get. You will get defend points according to percentage of troops you defeat in each wave. If you are able to defeat 100% troops, you will get 100% defense points. There are three different type of waves. One wave attacks all members, one wave attack online members, one wave attack headquarter. Wave 7, wave 14, and wave 17 attack online members. The wave 10 and 20 attack the alliance headquarter. Rest of the waves attack all members. If your alliance has made Tundra headquarter, Joe will attack Tundra headquarter. If there is no Tundra Headquarter, Joe will go for Icefield Headquarter. Remember, Wave 10 and 20 are extremely powerful. Ask your strongest player of Alliance to be Rally Captain. If you cannot defeat more than 50% troops, it means you have been defeated. When you are defeated, Joe will burn your city. To defeats means you have been lost event. After to defeat, you will not be attacked by remaining waves. Now let's check how to get points in this event. There are three ways to get points. 1. By defending yourself. 2. By defending your ally. 3. By defending your headquarter. Let's discuss them one by one. If you are below Furnace 26, and if you have below T9 troops, you should only defend yourself. But if you want to take risk, you can defend others. Suppose you have 300k troops, now divide your troops in two parts, 180k and 120k. Keep the 180k troops in your city, and divide 120,000 in for parts of each 30k. And send for players your defense of each 30k. This is how you can get points. For both defending yourself and defending ally. But if you are above Furnace 26, you should use zero defense strategy. What is zero defense strategy? I have already discussed about it in this video. Check it, link in pinned comment. Here I am telling in brief. In zero defense strategy, you have to empty. Your city and a strong ally will defend your city. This is how you and your alliance members will get huge amount of points. For more details, check the video in zero defense strategy. During Crazy Joe, you can activate your city bonus like troops health or troops defense. This will give better result. But if you are a free to play player, avoid the city bonus, as you need to spend good amount of gems. And the third way to get points is I defending your headquarter. Remember, Crazy Joe is an event of alliance, where you need good synergy and bonding with alliance members. Failing of communication will bring failure, especially when you are using zero defense, as it is extremely risky. Even in this video, I am using zero defense. You can see my all troops are outside, 
They are defending ally. Okay Crazy Joe is starting. You can see difficulty level 11 is enabled. My alliance is pretty much strong, so we can go for difficulty 11. After the event starts, this tab will be opened. There are two different points. Personal points and alliance points. Personal points will give personal ranking and reward. Alliance points will give alliance ranking and reward. Moreover there is another reward. When you complete specific milestone of damage, you will get alliance tokens as reward. Where personal and alliance ranking give you polishing solution, hardened aloe and resources as reward. Try to get more damage for more reward. Crazy Joe has started and bandits have started attacking us. You can see a bandit camp here. There are total three type off bandit camp. One camp throws way from 1 to 9. One camp throws way from 11 to 19. And one camp throws 10th and 20th wave. It does not matter where you are in map. If you are part of an alliance, Joe will attack you even if you are in far distance. You cannot hide or run from Joe. Joe is attacking. You can check the battle reports. Are you seeing something weird here? I am not getting killed but I am winning. And my defender is getting 50% of defense point. I will tell it soon. When you are using zero defense strategy, you should discuss with your alliance before doing. Your defender should be enough strong, so he can protect you in all ways. If you are defending someone, make sure you are the only defender, no second person should be there as defender. Also, you should be enough strong, so you can defend all waves when you are defender. Send one queue to headquarter in starting, because many people will send to headquarter, and only 15 players can defend. If you are late, your troops will not be able to defend headquarter. Now let's talk about a myth. There is a myth, if you are using protection, Joe will not attack you. Let's check this myth. Kira player is using protection. We will see if Joe attack him or not. See, in spite of protection, Joe attack this player. It means the myth is false, protection will not save you from Joe. To be sure, we will check again. See, even in next wave, Joe attacked. But the player had protection, so it is a false myth. Try to complete the milestone, because it gives huge amount of alliance token. Alliance token is used to purchase bonus from alliance shop. Let's check a report. I send my full queue to defend this player. But you can see I am getting low amount points. It is because I am not defeating 100% troops of Joe. Okay, wave 7 is coming. I already told, this wave attacks online members. These are the waves which makes difference. Between active and inactive alliance. Tell your alliance members to stay active, during Crazy Joe. Now voting feature is also available. Make voting poll in your alliance and get a suitable time for Crazy Joe when most members can be active. As I told, you cannot hide from Crazy Joe. Here a player is far away from other players of Alliance. But Joe can find him and attack him. Let's check my battle report. I have not my own troops in city and one defender is defending me. This is the mechanism of zero defense. You can see another camp of Joe has appeared on map. This camp will throw higher level attacks and this camp has powerful bandits. It generally starts action from wave 10. Okay, wave 10 is coming to hit ant, its target is Tundra Headquarter. If you want to make a good alliance score, tell 15 players to send equal number of troops to defend. Suppose total capacity is 900k. Tell each members to send 60k troops to Headquarter. And the players who will defend wave 10. They will not defend wave 20. Give chance to another 15 players to defend wave 20. This way everyone will make a good score and points will be distributed equally. First headquarter defends 15 players. Next headquarter defends another 15 players. Equal rights for everyone. 
we are not maintaining equal rights because our players are defending each other. So they do not want to send troops to headquarter. If there is anything wrong with timing, someone can be burned by Joe. See, another bandit camp has started attacking. Open battle tab of alliance. Go to events and you can check who are defending and other thing. Okay, Joe has attacked headquarter. Let's check battle report. You can see, everyone has got defense points. According to their kill. Higher kill means higher defense points. To get higher kill, you need powerful hero, more troops, hero gear upgrade, and many things. When you reach wave 15, you need to be careful. Because all strong bandits will start coming from this wave. From now, there is a high chance you will be defeated. Also, from this wave, you will see, a new type of bandits are coming. These bandits have a leader like Entity, who is wielding a huge sword. And other bandits are following the leader. In lower level difficulty, this bandit leader comes only in wave 10 and 20 to attack headquarter. But in higher level difficulty, this leader comes in many waves. If none is defending you and you are not feeling safe after wave 15, you can request for a help. Click here. You can request for help from Alliance. Why players start getting burnt from wave 15? Because from wave 15, a huge number of epic troops enter bandit army. Without good troops, it is difficult to fight against them. Now this is wave 16. You can see all bandits are epic troops. To defend this wave, you need minimum T8. Remember, you cannot heal your troops. If you are using zero defense strategy, if you heal your troops, all healed troops will come to your city and zero defense will be failed. Wave 17 has come. Again there comes a wave which attacks only online players. Now you can see the difference between city owner and defender point is very high, where player is not using zero defense. And here Defender is getting huge points for a zero defense strategy. This is wave 18, and it is very difficult. You can see mythic troops have ventured bandit army. You need minimum T9 to fight them. You can see total troops number is very high. This is wave 19, the most powerful wave of Joe against city. If you and your alliance both are new, you may not defend this wave. 90% players get defeated in this wave. Even if more than three players are defending you, you have a high chance to fail to defend. But don't worry. Gradually you upgrade and get strong and you might be able to defend. It will take time. Keep patience. Though our alliance is strong. Our one player got burnt in wave 19 by mistake. Keep alert in wave 19. There are some tips I want to share. 1. Don't use zero defense strategy. If you are below furnace 26 and if you don't have t9 troops 2. you need minimum 300k troops if you want a good scoring crazy joe keep most troops in your city if you are determined to defend yourself 3. use as much training speed dupe as possible before crazy joe so you can have a good number of troops 4. if you are a free to play player don't use city bonus save your gems for sbs or foundry this is how you can make a good score in Crazy Joe. If you want to know about zero defense strategy, check it. Link given in pinned comment. If you want to know how to use alliance token, check it. Link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.